it is Thursday now, um, so less than like 24 hours till my final and I'm literally doing laundry chores to avoid um, doing the work. It's finals day. Um, yeah, it's like nine, so we have an hour. Um, my roots are really bad and it help. Um, I'm dressed. Because um, I decided I didn't want to do my exam in my sweatpants. Yeah, I'm gonna have some coffee and some breakfast and then get everything set up and ready to start. <laughs> okay. I am now at my desk and um, I have the recording software set up. I have um, got the page open waiting for the exam to become live. And I'm just a little bit stressed. I've had my nervous poo. Um, my desk is all set up. I've got my notes. Um, cause open book. Got my water bottle in a vodka bottle. Um, it is water, not vodka. I'm not at that point. Um, I've got my normals. I've got my textbooks. Um, yeah. I'm ready for my final, five years of vet school, well four and a half, and final time. Um, I still have exams after this one, so it's not really a final, but it's called the final. Um, so, am I nervous? Yes, very. Um, will it be fine? Probably. And do I need 50%? Yes. Um, I'm just kind of a bit nervous, but it should be okay. Um, yeah, I'm just excited for it to be over because I'm going out for lunch and I can go charity shopping. Yeah, I have exciting plan things planned afterwards. I'm just like, I don't want to do it, but I want it to be over, um, which is a mood. How'd you find the exam? Fine. I'm not it was, um, you know, it was fine. Single best answer, you never really know what's right and what's wrong, so. And now Misha has got an old jumper. Oh, she really don't want it. <laughs> Do you think you're gonna need my help? Fine. She's sleepy, so she won't fight it that hard. Ha ha. Ha ha. Oh, one foot. She looks very annoyed. Give me that foot. I have welfare concerns for Misha. I don't. I think it's good for her. Oh, she looks so cute. <laughs> Hi, Misha. Why do you look so uncomfortable? Because she, you just put a jumper on her and she's oh. like, the fuck is this? <laughs> <laughs> she's being slightly less dramatic than with the harness. It's warm, Misha, you'll love it. Yeah, it is. <laughs> oh, hey, going. Oh, angry cat. <laughs> <laughs> angry cat. So angry. Even though I put a do not knock sign on our door, um, they still knocked during the exam. But I just went and got this package. And um, so this is from the House of Sunny Depop because they sell like. All the items or items that they don't need or aren't selling or didn't sell on there. So, um, because I'm going out for lunch, I want to put on a little bit of makeup just to kind of like make me feel like a person. Um, so I'm gonna do that. So, yeah, overall, I think that exam went okay. Um, there was definitely stuff I didn't know, definitely stuff I knew, um, which was nice. There were like a few questions where I just kind of answered them. And you're like, I know this one. Uh, it's a great feeling. Fortunately there were only a few of those. And then some I think I made like fairly well educated guesses on. Uh, I think brow and mascara just make my face really like come alive a bit more. Um, my face is a bit sad without it. Hello. I've de-jumpered her. Aww. She went and um, sat out on the shed and protested. Ah, with the jumper on? Yep. Oh my god. Um, and then she came back in and then I took it off. <laughs> All it took to convince us to come back in was I went out and called her. <sighs> Little bit of eyeshadow, even though I have dry skin at the top of my eyes and probably definitely shouldn't be wearing <laughs> eyeshadow. Ugh, very sneezy. I 
I'm excited to just live my life now and not have to revise. I have like an assignment actually that I have to write. Um, well, I've already written it. I have to like edit it because um, I got some feedback on it. But that's all I have to do before vet school starts again in January. Um, and I'm on placement. And apart from like a book placement and do my LOs and like some stuff. Um, but meh. <laughs> That's a big old burger, Sydney. So we have made our way to Godalming and we have made our first thrift purchase. You think um, we, you think. I have made. And we're just kind of making our way through the cherry stock. We've got about an hour till everything closes so we can't be like too long. Um, yeah, it'll be nice. Nice break from me celebrating the end of it. And the milkshake. I can still feel the milkshake in me. <laughs> Christmas lights. Pretty. Lighting. Beautiful, nice lighting. Misha, stop killing the yoga mat. So, um, we're back from the charity shop. Of course, I picked up a few things. I didn't actually get that much. I wanted a puffer coat, but I couldn't find a puffer coat. Um, and then I tend to like, like, camis and like summer style tops. I'd say more than winter tops. So I just like I'm not that into like chunky knits and stuff. Um, and all the stuff they have at the charity shop at the moment. So I just got a few things. Um, where are my necklaces? So I got two necklaces. They're just both like gold chokers. So I got this one, which is like kind of like a varying link size one. And I got this one, which is like a swirly one. Um, very cute. I just thought they'd be good for layering and stuff. Um, there were a few more gold chains, but like one of them was like eight pounds, which I think is very expensive for a chain in chair shop. So I got my chains. Um, and then I got this puffer vest because I thought this would be cool to style over like a hoodie when I just kind of hit the shops. Um, just hit the shops. Just casually hit the shops. Online. I'm just kind of in a sweatsuit outfit, but just with like this over the top. Um, I don't know. I watched someone's thrift haul and they got one of these, so I was like, I want that too. And this was six pound fifty, six fifty. And then the only other thing I got is this pink faux fur coat and I've actually been wanting like a pink coat like a pink preferably faux fur coat for a while um it's in my depop history so I'm glad that I found this and it was only 10 pounds it's very pretty um it's a good fit it's very like fluffy but it's like longer so that it can be like an evening coat as well yeah I just thought it was fit cute and it was a bit of like a bougie sort of coat like where and Saf got one thing yes you only got one thing very fur you got a fur vest didn't you yeah like a leather like a suede and fur vest which there were loads in the charity shop I don't know if they were like hangovers from last winter season but there are lots of those in the charity shops at the moment um but no puffer jackets sadly I did see one but it was like 70 pounds and I couldn't work out what brand it was from and it had a stain in it so I was like pass to that but yeah it's successful and my film was being developed so we really we got what we wanted um this coat is just from blue vanilla one of those um ambiguous brands and this is from Editions, another ambiguous like brand but I don't know where it comes from or who she is or where she goes. Yeah now it's time for coffee because I have to drive home later and I am tired. Um so I am 
in the process of leaving Guildford, but um, my engine oil light came on and I just changed it all by myself. Yay, a functional adult maybe. My car is gonna break down in a much worse, much more dramatic way, I guarantee, on the way home. But um, the light is off now, and I hope it doesn't come on. It is the first time I've ever done that. Um, it wasn't horrendous. I only took one phone call home to my mom to be like, ah, does it matter what type of oil I put in my car? Um, she said it didn't, but I think it kind of minorly did. Um, but yeah, so I am proud. This is where like every single light in my car comes on. Um, yeah, I'm gonna try and go home now. Can't be asked. At least my car won't fail on engine oil. <laughs> So our cars are just like this leech of money but the thing they don't tell you about vet school is that you need a car and you, well you basically need i have a few friends who are in fifth year without cars and it's harder um and it's more limiting and where you can go on placement and it really does help to have a car especially if you go to like rvc or bristol or somewhere with like secondary campuses or nottingham where the campuses are in the middle of nowhere um guilford is not too bad because we're in a city for the whole five years basically but other vet schools like rip to that. Anyway, I'm gonna go home. Um, yeah, and I hope my car makes it. <laughs> right, so I just got back from a whole weekend um, at home. I went home for work and for a car at MRT. Um, but while I was at home, <clears throat> my mum and I went out for lunch and did some charity shopping. So I didn't film anything just because I wanted to spend time with my mum because I haven't really seen her much because of Covid and I was also working for a fair bit of when I was home um so that was a consideration but I managed to get a few things so um the first thing I got was this little brown hoodie zip up hoodie I think it's really cute um it's like cropped um it's quite small but it's just really basic for fall and it's very on trend and it's just from Per Una and that was five pounds and then I got this sweater vest which is very summery and springtimey but I love the yellow of it so it's just this sort of yellow sweater vest and this was I think six pounds um and it's very cute I think it would look really nice with like a pair of jeans or a white tennis skirt and then the other thing I got, I was ranting and raving to my friends about how the brown North Face coats are going for like £500 on Depop. Um, and I didn't realise they were actually also quite expensive on the website, they were like £300. But I found this brown puffer coat that's from Per Una again. I just picked up a lot of Per Una stuff. This was £13. Um, and it doesn't look that different to the North Face. It doesn't have a logo. It's not quite as cropped, quite as like bulky because the North Face ones are the men's. But um, I managed to find this and I've been looking for a proper coat because they're just really on trend at the moment. And this one kind of gives the North Face look and will look trendy in like everyday wear or like pictures. It came with a hood, but I took it off because it had the trim. And I was like, I'm just not about that hood. But I was really happy it was detachable because that made this coat like purchasable for me. And yeah, it does kind of remind me of the North Face ones and it's very on trend. And then the last thing I got was just this cute little pink glass dish, which I thought was very pretty. Um, so yeah, that was my little weekend away thrift haul. And now I'm back in Guildford and Saffron is heating up dinner my mum made us. And yeah. I don't know how long I'm going to be back for. I have a tattoo book for tomorrow in Brighton. And then my friend is getting married on Saturday. It's quite a small wedding, obviously, because we're going to have like 15 people now. Um, yeah. And then I'm meant to be working up here on Sunday, but I might cancel that because I have a wedding. So, yeah. I don't really know what I'm going to do with my time now that I finish my finals. Maybe probably just spend money and cherish it. <laughs> We're now in sunny, windy Brighton, and I'm lost. So I just finished getting tattooed, and um, 
right next to the place that I was getting tattooed or right opposite was this place called One Happy Chicken, which is like a fully vegan chicken place. So I went and got some popcorn chicken because I love popcorn chicken and milkshake. Now I'm gonna go find some charity shops because um, parking, like, I paid a bit of money for parking and once you paid a bit, what's the difference between paying a lot of parking and not paying anything? So, yeah. I might as well bankrupt myself while I'm here and have fun. So, yeah. And I'm just getting very excited to do placement in Brighton actually in January, so not that long. I'm now home and I'm gonna show stuff what I got at the charity shops. I can show you at the same time. Can I have your cookies? Uh, okay. So, this, down. this one is 4.75, so it's just a fun, Ooh. fun blouse with strings. Strings. Um, And I got this jumper. Cute. Because I thought this looked um, like something you'd get at a fairly expensive shop, like House of Sunny at the moment. But it was eight ninety nine. Nice. Um, I got this little leopard print scarf. Cute. Really cute to turn into like a top. A boob cover. Mm -hmm. I got some leather leggings. Wow. I, they're a size 10, so they might be a bit big on my waist, but they're in six nine nine. The scarf was like one ninety nine. Um and then I got like a like a teddy type lingerie dress. Naughty. I thought this was a top. I thought it was a top as well. Two bombs. Wow. You did not look at that when you bought it, did you? No. Oh, it's size large. Maybe this Dude. is Dude. <laughs> I don't there, think it's going to fit, babe. <laughs> there was a smaller one. But I thought they were the same size. I can alter it to fit. <clears throat> and then my tattoo. Here we go. It's a lemon. Today's outfit for Erin running. A little... Scandalous. So that trip into town was a mixed success. Um, basically I wanted to return the leather leggings that I bought yesterday because they're like ripped on the crotch. Um, and because I'm not in Brighton, I thought I'd try and return them to my local British Heart Foundation. Um, but the lady was like, I don't know if this is how you bought them so I can't take them. And I was like, fair but also it's like quite obviously like a chronic problem with them like it's flaking and everything and the tag's still on so like it's obvious I haven't worn them um but I only bought them yesterday and I'm worried that if I t return them when I'm in Brighton next um which is like less than a month away which is less than the return period but they might be like well um I this I can't prove that this is how they looked which is really annoying um, because they were like six pounds and I would like that six pounds, that's like two coffees or um, like a quarter of food for a week, um, which is a bit annoying. But if they don't take them, I mean, I can still keep them high medium and use them kind of. Um, I might try and fix them in some way or just wear them with long tops. Um, but yeah. Other than that, I got the errands I needed to do done. Um, I was going to try and like negate my parking at Waitrose by buying something for my stepmom there, but then I forgot my ID so I couldn't buy her gin like I wanted. Um, yeah, and then I hit up a charity shop, a bit more of a drive of the way, and I got some hoops uh, for when I'm feeling hoey. I got some black strappy heels, which I've wanted for ages, so those are six pounds literally the same price as the leggings um these are 50p and then i got this really cute hello kitty um coffee mug which is so sweet um and that was a pound yeah so kind of good kind of not good um yeah oh i got a depop package today this little mini gas bag i honestly was expecting it to be bigger but um i'm not mad about the size because it's very cute 
and um, mini. And I'm really, I really like guest bags at the moment. I think they're so pretty. I'm very tired still. Um, yesterday I just got back from Brighton and was wiped and I had a nap, which I never do. Um, and then like just kind of chilled and slept and tidied and organized a bit. Um, and then today, obviously, oh I've got this. And I'm still avoiding the work that I actually do have to do. Um, so I have a list of stuff that I need to take off. So I might start sticking, taking that off. And at some point, I do need to edit a few videos because I am being very lazy. Um, like I film them and then I have them ready to edit and stuff. But then I just put off the editing. She is cooking gather. Hundreds and hundreds of them. Saf and I um, were feeling very lazy and there was no food in the house. And I really wanted ramen, so we ordered wagons. Nita, is this for you? No. Hmm? And we got our regular order of curry for the ramen. Did you get the ramen as well? Yes. We made our own fuses. You can have Let me in. Churros. Churro. So Tesco make these churros and they only have them out at Christmas and I bought three boxes. And I might buy some more for Christmas and she's good, that's so good. Saffron is in her element. Uh, spiky. Spiky boy. Right. What do you think, Mish? I think she has a lot of this. I'm gonna hang my bags on command hooks. Oh, I'm gonna hang you on those hooks. There. 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 I think that's good. I think that looks good. Where are the command hooks? Here they are. I don't know, baby. Where did you put them? <laughs> I found them. Look at her go. Stunning. She has a purse wall. You think third one here? Yes. Or do you think another one here? I think another one here and another one here. Whatever makes you happy. A bag wall is the thing that I've always wanted but I never knew I wanted. Of course it is. You having fun? Ta-da! The bag wall. What, what about the top lamp? What's going on there? I don't know. Yay. <laughs> I moved the top hooks up higher because I hated how the purple bag looked sticking out. And now there's this big gap here, but oh well. The bag wall. Beautiful. She's babe. done. Do you like her? She's stunning. She's stunning. Wow. And my coat rack looks so much better without all the bags falling off it. Yay.